what is up guys in this video we have another episode of the unranked to unreal series and we're about halfway through elite at the start of this video and the first game in this video was actually the final game i played before the recent nerf to the sniper rifle and nerf to the frenzy auto shotgun so uh the first game snipers aren't nerfed we end up getting sniped a lot and then after that game they ended up nerfing snipers but if you enjoy this video remember to give a like subscribe if you would like to see more Comment something down below to help the video do better, and I hope you enjoy the games. Not having sprints is so rough. I either went to the side. My gosh, man. He hit hard. I thought he was just running, running. I don't know if I should have just dropped on him to begin with or what. I hit like 67 on that shot and then only have two shots remaining. I'm not like the happiest with it. But I guess I do have an SMG. I'm just used to like not having an SMG I feel like. So I like don't like just 60 damage. Like it's 13 real damage on somebody that I know was full shield because he had like the flowberry phase and used it all. I was so sad when I got the DMR. That's not what I want. I just want to drop the second weapon. Thank you. There's somebody pickaxing in one of those buildings. I heard it. Someone just got off a dirt bike here as well. I want more loot, but... Unfortunately, he zips across as soon as I... Oh, it looked like he had something in his hand. Like the way his character was standing, I think he had like grenades or like MPs in his hand. I just want my sprint to regen and then to get away from him and try to reset this fight. Alright, two Ds. That's unfortunate for him. I want those shockwaves. He like jumped down as I shot him, so there was like no... Ability for him to like do anything about it, you know, like he was already committed to that play I'm gonna drop the sniper. I think it's more ideal to have both shockwaves and bunkers Someone else just pulled up in a car I would really like to be full shield, but That was such a weird shockwave. I don't even know where he himself just went. That's fortunate for him. That fight like was perfect for me, I think. He's on the loot, I think. I just heard him pick up something. Maybe not. I don't know if I'm tripping, but that was like the weirdest shockwave ever to me. He's here.
I would like a better shotgun. <laughs> I feel like all these gatekeeper shots have been very underwhelming. I would like to get that radio tower, but I don't want to fight for that radio tower. I'm not full health, not the happiest with my loot. Also, I feel like fights in that area are going to like be very sniper centric and I can't really participate in that. There's somebody in this building over here, I think. There's also fighting going down over there. I heard that person shoot a sniper. I wanted to be on this roof if this guy was going to push out, but I don't want to be on this roof for a long time. Because... That other guy behind me earlier is maybe going to come back at some point. Or just anybody from that area. Yeah, I don't know. Where these guards are shooting at? Dude, the, the fact that the DMR messes the car up that much is crazy. Like, it just, like, forces your car to move when you get hit by a DMR shot. I was about to say, I know someone's been here because there's two G-Wagons. I wanted to come here and get a G-Wagon myself. I'm pretty certain they know I'm here. I doubt there's anybody else here because of how freely he was just walking around. People fighting in Snooty. More bunkers. I don't know if I want to go for this bunker or not. Yeah, because we know that guy's here. I was getting the radio tower earlier. And then there's likely the person that was in Pleasant earlier. There's people fighting in Snooty. I think it's very hard to get attachments here and not just get, like, chained third party into Oblivion. And, like, I can be okay without attachments this game. I would like to have Grum Mag on my uh, shotgun. But we do have a sight on the air, which is nice. Oh, shoot. I would have just waited. I thought this guy was going to wait at the gas station, so I was trying to get around him. Again, I don't want to fight here. There's so many people in this area that it's just like guaranteed third party, I think. Please let me drive, game. Like any piece of your car is touching the water, you get like zero horsepower. I'm surprised that's not looted, but it was. What radio tower key would be here? 
or key in general. Was that like a vault key from somewhere? There's somebody here. Oh my gosh. And I have no extra shield, by the way. Maybe they fight? Please get shot in the back. That's so awkward. Now this guy's healthy and coming here. I don't want to fight this unless I get a very good engage. I'm already not healthy. Like we're just at an automatic HP deficit. Down for him to leave, but he knows I'm here. what he's doing so I feel like this fight stinks for both of us I feel like that taught me so much man because like I, I feel like looking for the third party is fine I understand it it makes sense but like Sticking around continuously with no damage and tags or anything. I just like Don't really understand. Please splash me lady. Please just splash me. Thank you. I'm like worried I'm gonna walk away from where she splashes and then not get it yeah, I feel like the longer me and him are fighting the worse it is for each of us And it almost was bad like if I was a little bit faster on getting to him then he's just dead there I like beamed him so good Imagine he's coming back now. I just heard a car. I want to go get this G-Wagon over here, but no sprint. I wish she would throw slap splashes at me, man. I don't have a lot of sh uh, shocks. Her footsteps scared me. Dang, I thought I could hide in that corner of the attic. Maybe this corner of the attic is good. This is solo zero build ranked. Rat Simulator 2024. I like genuinely wasn't even that surprised when I pulled up to this house and then there was somebody camping on top of it with the MPs. That's why I didn't get out right away and just run in because I was like pretty certain there was somebody chilling here. Surprised I didn't. I was like surprised when the NPC hadn't been hired though. I don't know what's better, two flowberries or six minis. This one's kind of rough. It's not terrible. But it's not great either, I feel like. 
I'm happy it's like still kind of in this area. I've had like so many zones ending in this area and I just like do not know that area. Hope I can get more like blueberries as I go through the farm area. There's somebody here. Okay, I was about to just say I have to move, but like my side of zone is so close that it's the storm is going to be moving very slow on my end. Like I have to get from here to here. The peop the storm is going to be moving on faster on this side because it's like a greater distance for storm to travel. So I wanted to like wait and try to like hold this other side of zone because I thought like those people would have to move before me if there was anybody there. And then I also do have the healer NPC so if I take a bit of storm damage it's really not the end of the world do have to be cautious of people making storm plays because even now the storm is still only hitting for one damage so like I if storm was hitting for a lot here then I could kind of chill on this roof and pretty reasonably assume that like uh no one's coming behind me but like you can never be too sure with the storm being like mostly irrelevant until in game. This is not what I wanted. Like I would have liked for zone to be on this side cause I know that area more and it's an easier rotation for me. I want to try to get early into this bottom part because you see all these medallion players here. That's probably going to be like the hotter side of zone. Somebody in front of me. Like right here, this is where like not knowing the map kind of grieves me because like I don't know if I can get up this way. I hope I can, but like. Okay, yeah. I was not sure if this like kind of eventually ended up like this hopefully this guy just goes about his day it's better for both of us not to fight because the rest of the map is going to be rotating into us here like if he gets out and fight me we just like guaranteed get held i think or like third partied get him aphrodite i want to get into the new purple area as it opens The sniper is like hyper fixated on me because he saw me first, I guess. Thank you for the raid longs. Right, maybe you should have waited for Aphrodite. The person near my car. Don't open the door, lady. I like how she just opens my door and exposes me to the world, but won't splash me. Zone pulled far. This is, like, really not great. I want to, like, tell her to move to that person so he'll start fighting her, but, like, I it was concerning to do that. She's really taking her time. Like, I can't put her where I want because I'm, like, worried that I'm peeking into that player. Like, I want her to go past the tree. It's not great. Yeah, I think I'm dead here, 100%. I... Yeah, I don't know. I wanted to, like, send her to where that guy was, but I was worried that if I did that, I was going to be peeking while standing still, and then he just snipes me while I'm doing that, you know? I hear someone shooting a suppressed sniper.
Oh no, man. I have no heals. Yeah, okay. Like, I don't I don't know what I can do there. I could just shockwave and bunker in, but like... I was hoping to beam that guy and then take his bunker. And like, get a free kill as well. That's 9% GG's. Alright, we are back. This is going to be the first game I've recorded since the recent weapon balancing change to the previous match you saw in this video. I was actually playing like right before that change went live like i played that game and then saw that change went, went live and then started playing pubs to get gameplay for a video about that but the frenzy auto shotgun much worse now not much worse but it's worse than it was and i already thought it wasn't the best shotgun and then the sniper also got nerfed and has more bullet drop now and it's going to be a bit harder to use i already wasn't really using snipers for ranked once i got to the higher ranks that way i could carry both shockwaves and bunkers We'll see how if this kind of like plays out a bit different though, uh, with maybe less people sniping in in-game or maybe people sniping and not being as much of a factor because they aren't that used to the bullet drop yet. Hades chain and water mythic changes, I don't think will really impact rank too much. The water bending mythic is okay. Like it's not terrible, but it's also just like, I would rather use an AR over it personally. It's like, it's fine, but why would I want to use it is kind of how I feel about that item. And I suspect that is also the opinion of most like more serious players, which is what we should be encountering in ranked mode. DMR with no sight on it, unfortunate. I'm my least favorite weapon to find this season like that or a uh i'm gonna go with the frenzy auto shotgun even though it's nerfed i'd rather use it over a pump especially on higher ping like 40 ping is what i have currently not the end of the world but things do feel a little different because i'm used to much lower ping so uh yeah gonna drink this i wonder if i passed up any bunkers because there's these bubbles here i'd rather have these and no bunkers at all but I'm like also not very used to carrying these cover items just cause like normally when I play pubs, I don't really use them unless I'm uh, very desperate as far as loot goes. I don't want to jinx it, but it seemed like nobody else landed here. It can be good, but also less potential for kills early on in the game, which kind of stinks. And even if people didn't land here, land here, there's still like decent potential there in like the surrounding area. Landing at maybe that research facility up there, the graveyard, things of that nature. would like to get a better gatekeeper shotgun and then some bunkers instead of bubbles if possible. I'm actually going to go for this Nemesis Air. I much prefer the Warforge to the Nemesis Air, but I'm not the biggest fan of the Warforge Air with no sight on it. I'm pretty bad with it. And so we'll take this since it has a sight. I do think this is going to be a lot worse at following up the uh, gatekeeper shotgun though, which is something that I kind of have to consider with only having a white one. Like there's, wouldn't it be that surprising if I end up needing to swap to my R to finish a kill? If things don't go that well. Okay, nice, we got bunkers. I'm always scared that I'm like missing them because like I talked about earlier, I'm just not that used to carrying them. Two more bubbles there, but. I'd rather have bunkers than bubbles. Since bunkers create like a permanent piece of cover or more permanent, obviously it can be broken, but it doesn't like run out over time. Wait, I'm dumb for having these med kits. I know there is minis back there and then I also think there's slow fish again. Not paying the most attention looting sometimes especially when trying to kind of like talk about some unrelated subjects 
Okay, this is not great. We got no cars here. There are potential car spawns in this parking lot up ahead and then also on the street before we get to the graveyard. I just have to maybe consider that someone landed here. And it does look like they did. I think there's supposed to be a door that shot there. I could be wrong though. There might just be no door. These guns don't have ammo. Yeah, okay. There definitely was somebody here and there's also no car here. I'm gonna try to check this vending machine. The blue gatekeeper. Bro, I thought there was maybe someone camping under that somehow. Like, that was a weird thing to be broken. And with these higher ranks, especially in solos, unfortunately, like, people play very ratty. So, like, I have okay loot. I would like to have more bunkers. I would also prefer to have big pots over flowberry fizz, but it's not the end of the world to me to have to have flowberry fizz. So I think it's best if I just, just leave that house to be. Like, it's not worth running into someone just being very um, passionate, you know, in that house to maybe get, like, some big pots instead of Flowberry Fizz when like, it's, like, the Flowberry Fizz is fine, you know, and arguably better in some ways. And then the same goes with, uh, like, getting more bunkers. Four would be nice, but it's better to have two and not die to someone hiding i think but with the higher ranks the solo games have been very campy i've considered like playing with some other streamers it's just like weird because like i've talked about so many times i don't want the gameplay to be super out of date by the time i post it so i usually play like two to three games a session like six games a week if that just so like i get gameplay for the videos but i don't get so much gameplay that it's like oh shoot an update happened and i have like eight games on a patch that doesn't matter anymore like you just saw yesterday as of the time i'm recording this this past friday they randomly dropped a weapon balance update so if i was like super stocked up on gameplay all that would be very out of date you know and so like playing with people it, it would be kind of rude to like hit somebody up to play and then just play two matches and leave um that's why i've mostly done solos but yeah like the the higher ranked solo games have been very uh slow paced and it's just like difficult to get an entertaining game for a video and not even difficult in the sense that like oh the players are very good which is true the players are better but also just like the game plays out slower and so there's a lot of time like this where like it's probably best for me to do nothing for the next few zones and just kind of hang out and see if we can maybe catch anybody on rotation um rat and health ourselves maybe like I, I don't know that's why i was never the biggest like advocate for solo zero build ranks coming to the game when they first had ranked mode there i think it was just duos and squads for zero build and there's people out there that really wanted solos but I, I just think at the the highest level solo zero build competitive is just very campy like competitive at the higher level is always going to be campy to an extent it's just kind of how things go but i, I feel like solo zero build is like a different breed of campiness i'm gonna see if there's anybody here could hire that npc she gives me bunkers i believe these guns have ammo next to them that can be a sign sometimes that like things have been looted okay the inside of the house was looted but not the outside there might be somebody camping this waiting for somebody to hire because like the moment you hire like the speech bubble on the map i think would disappear and so they would know that like oh someone hired that if they were camping that building thoughts over here someone did just die in the kill feed so i might have missed my opportunity to potentially third party that fight Yeah, I think we did miss our opportunity. Like, maybe get something done there. My gosh, the nearest bunker is over here. It's okay, though. I cannot get attachments. 
kind of like I talked about earlier with like maybe getting an extra bunker out of that house. It would be nice. Very nice to be able to customize my guns, but the gatekeeper shotgun is still very usable without the drum mag. And then like I do have a sight on my AR. That's one of the reasons why I like took this. Nemesis AR. Because I didn't think it was like guaranteed that I would get to use a weapon bunker this game. Whereas like in, in, sol in pubs, like sure, I'll just use some like nonsense for like a zone or two and then like customize it at the bunker. It's no big deal. Running out of gas, which is not great at all, but there is a few uh, car spawns along this outer edge of the map that we can maybe take advantage of. We'll see. I'm hoping this one is here. There's one on the... Okay, that is not great. I don't think this car is supposed to spawn here. So someone's been here. They might have taken the G-Wagon though. Get in AI, what are you doing? This AI, dude. The AI is like trying to get me killed. Like I'm worried there's somebody camping in that bush, you know? Cause like that would be uh, a maybe decent play like set a car up for in a spot where you think someone will take it near a bush and then just like beam them as they get in right. unfortunate i hit no shots there do I can go in the other way? What what is this video game, man? Oh, gas on it. Maybe we just camp this bush. And see what zone does in four seconds. Nice, man. Thanks for the medium ammo. Can I have bunkers, please? Somebody in this building with a crown. We had him like 100 ish. I think he gets away, though. Uh, he got in a car. That's unfortunate. I like messed up my shockwave. I would have like shockwave done him a little bit sooner, but I like, I don't know. I don't know if the game said can't do that right now. If I wasn't actually holding right trigger when I initially tried to shockwave on him, I do not know what occurred, but it's not exactly what I intended. I think so. I think that definitely could have been a kill. I heard his crown activate when he's camping in that building, but he seemed to know I was there as well. And just looking for any potential play I make. And this is like what I was talking about earlier, right? So it's like hard to make these games entertaining for videos. Ideally, you would probably just want to do nothing. Especially... I feel like a game like this, it's already kind of guaranteed to be a low-kill game. I might as well just make it in-game with my shocks and bunkers. But it's just like... I don't know. It's different playing... To play versus like get these games for videos. Even if the players aren't very good, like, just getting third party to see your game over, you know, at times. Like, I don't, I don't think every, I don't think the ranked mode in this game is very good. It's not like everybody in this lobby is going to be the greatest fighter on earth, but they're, they should be somewhat decent. And like, yeah, like the potential loss for third party is not great i'm hoping that the next zone 
does something pretty significant because the way it shrunk before it, it kind of shrank towards center so it didn't really kind of reveal much of where the game will actually end up if it goes over here over here we'll have like a better idea of like where we should go and then i can just go there with the like little remaining gas my car does have and then try to play from there that's what i'm thinking Okay, so we did get what I wanted. It did shrink to a point where we have like a decent picture of where the game is going to end up. It didn't just like kind of go center to where like it's still like if it was lower and it was just like this, then it would still like, I don't know. Not really give me an idea of how where the game will end. So it did what I wanted, but it just ended where I already was. So I don't really need to go anywhere. The G wagon in front of that house that wasn't there previously. I don't think. It looks healthy too. Okay. So if you guys didn't know, if you try to ping a car and there's somebody inside of it, it won't let you ping it. And this has been a thing for as long as cars have been in the game. And so. I know that guy's sitting in the passenger seat of that car when I go to ping it. I was going to go take it, but I wanted to ping it first just to make sure. Because it can be harder to see some skins in there. Maybe y'all saw it clearly and I'm just dumb, but like, yeah. It can be hard to see some of the skins camping in cars sometimes, especially in a darker area like this. So you can just try to mark it like how you would anything else, like how you'd mark loot or mark a location on the ground. Uh, and then see if there's somebody camping in it for sure. Hmm. It's not great. I thought that was going to be a fight I can maybe third party. But it, it was the guy shooting in a car running away from him. And this guy's two medallions. Not sure which two he has. Because the other person also has two medallions, so it's hard to know. Like, I can't just look at the map and see, like, oh, Grimgate wasn't gotten. But, uh, okay, he moved. Like, the Grim Gate Medallion is hard to fight against, is what I was trying to say. Like, I don't want to fight against it. I would like to have it, but, like... Again, I'm just most concerned about playing for game here, so... Wish I had dashes right now. They just fought. He shockwaved away. This guy sniped the last person he killed. He bunkered. All the medallions are here. I don't think we stressed this kill. I didn't get enough damage on him to want to just like 50-50 it. And like he's hitting shots with snipe. If I hit him like 100 plus, then maybe we go for him. So he's going to have all the medallions now. And so like, obviously that's not great. This guy has all the medallions. But also, it's good for me in the sense that, like, I think the person who has the Grimgate Medallion, which I think is, like, the best one, is going to be a focal point for a lot of players and probably get griefed. He's going to know I'm in this bush. Yikes. Wings are not it. I'm gonna run with my bunkers out in case I get shot. I'm gonna shock on this and get the kill. No way. That's the same guy from that ran from me earlier. 
<laughs> at the vault building. Gotta be careful here. Potentially somebody in that bunker over there. I'm not sure. I used more shocks than I would have liked. Okay, they might bite in that building. I don't know if it's worth going for though. So I used more shocks than I would have liked and I bunkered ahead in zone, which it's fine. But the thing is when you bunker ahead in zone, a lot of people are of the mindset that like, I should use this bunker to my advantage and get kills off it, which can be fine. But also you got to keep in mind that anybody that's like kind of shambles coming into zone is probably going to just like focus you. Because if you're in a bad spot and you see a bunker, you might just be like, okay, I'll hop on this bunker and then like get the kill. And if I don't get the kill, it's game over, but I was probably going to lose anyways. You know what I mean? Like that guy there, if I was just no bunkers at all and like shambles, I would have just like chalked on him, I think, and tried to close that kill. I didn't want to put more shockwaves into it because I already am low. And I doubt he had any because he was using wings. We can maybe get that loot there. I don't know if he had anything. Uh, and then I was also concerned that the anime character that ran into that house earlier would just like re like third party us. If I third party that fight, you know? That anime character is still in that house, by the way. He was the one with the crown earlier. They never fought. Wings? My back is exposed, but I don't think there's anybody there yet. We do have to go over there though. I just only have one bunker, so I want to maybe try to get into zone without using any utility and then use it when I can. We're gonna miss out on kills for it. If I was more stacked on utility, like let's say I was full shocks, full bunkers, I maybe would chill where I was and then try to like play for kills and then just like blow shock in the zone. But. Since we're not in a great spot. Have to play more passive. Finally, we killed that guy. No bunkers on him, it looks like. I'm pretty sure there's somebody in that bunker. You can see like the little slit. There was like not light showing. See? I pinged zone. I think we just tried to flowberry rotate in. I was like contemplating jumping on that bite down there, honestly. He picked up the wings. And there's still a player behind him in that bunker. Okay, my aim was trash there. But he still leaves and we get bunker, don't die. I don't feel like comfortable at all right now. Like, I just, yeah, I don't know what to do, man. I think we're just, like, hoping for the best, like, randomness to go our way. Because if you commit to biting anyone here, you just die. And several of them have dashes, and I don't. 
Yeah, my aim just like did not feel great at all in that end game. I needed to hit better shots on that guy under the bunker after they like caught. Maybe be faster to third party it. Because then I would have been able to get like the Cerberus medallion and stuff, but it was just I don't know. My shotgun aim felt so terrible. We picked up some kills still on the way out, but like yeah, that's not great. It's like if that I got like one bunker off that fight up top before we left. I think if I got more bunkers off that, we maybe would have been able to do more, but it was just one bunker. The zone was very open. It was rough. I don't know, but that is going to be it for this video. As always, if you guys found it helpful, informative, interesting, remember to give it a like, subscribe if you would like to see more, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.